Friday, September 13th. I'm going to try this new thing where I just record, um, do some daily uploads. I want to try and see if I can do 30 uploads in 30 days, whether it's snippets of certain things, talking about poker, talking about sports, talking about wow. I've, I've come to realize the just focusing strictly on poker vlogging is not going to be the way to go. I need to change my process because what was going on before just wasn't working. I got to cut down on editing just and more doing, um, and just pumping out the content. Quality might not be as good as what we're used to or what I've been aiming for in the past, but I think focusing on that just has been my to my detriment in the in the long run here. So we're gonna we're gonna try this. I'm not sure how videos are gonna turn out. Maybe I'll be putting out a minute long video. Maybe I'll be putting out a twenty minute long video. Um, but we're not sure. One thing we are sure about is we're gonna be putting out videos. So. Let's go. Uh, just got out of the shower. Got my hair cut today. Nothing, nothing too crazy going on in my world. Planning to jump into two five tonight. Um, gonna be a Friday game. We took a shot earlier in the week on Tuesday. Played for about three hours and we're plus eight hundred bucks. So this, this is a shot take for us. For me, it's a, it's a shot take. Uh, said at the beginning of this year I wanted to be playing 2-5 by the end. Uh, I've just kind of been avoiding it mainly because I want my bankroll to be ready to go on a 2k downswing whatever but after some tweets I had with, with Matt Berkey and just the confidence and some going into the day really I, I was really high confidence. I walked into the room I saw an open seat at 2-5. I jumped in and we had a great session so tonight Planning to go back into that, so I'm excited for that. Wearing my Dolphins hats, uh, was announced today that Bang Bros, come on, we all know who that is, uh, is looking to buy the Miami Dolphins stadium. Could just be a rumor, might be fucking funny. I think it's, I think it's great. What's to stop them? Like, they have the money, the Dolphins are in the tank. Really, it looks to me like a great business decision by them. They're getting the media coverage. Even if they don't even buy it, they're getting the media coverage. So I think it's a great business move for them. It'll pay off. It might just pay off in the long run. Dolphins expected to go 0-16 this year. Why not buy them while they're low? Well, their value as a franchise is low. Get in there, get that 10-year lease. Bang bros. We're leaving the house. Had to switch hats. Turns out my news was wrong. It's the Miami Heat and not the Miami Dolphins with the Bang Bro stuff. So, whatever. Um, we're going to play that 2 5. Hopefully, you get it in a couple hours. It's shortly after lunch now. It's raining like crazy. So, hopefully, the game's good. Made it to the casino. We're ready for some 2 5 action. Just going to go in there, play my game. No matter what, I'm going to spend two hours and then get up and get a break hopefully we have something to go over if not at least uh reset my mind this guy beside me is non-stop beeping his car he's right in front of me so i don't know why he can't just still walk there but yeah so good luck to us let's go all right two hours in we're down we're down about 700 we started the first hour we had to play or i had to play one three uh waiting for a two five to open a new a second game so we played one three we got it all in with a short sec at one point with an over pair and they flopped two pairs with five six after i had squeezed so lost 200 there then uh one of the early early hands at two five when the game opened i'm in the small blind mid position opens button calls i call one of the limps call i have king jack off comes jack high flop initial razor c bet 60 i uh, call and then on the turn it's kind of a brick so when he c bets 225 i only have about 180 behind and i like to jam i don't know maybe i can find the fold actually in this spot because he is betting into four people on the flop but 
after that he had ace jack so one bullet in the thing about this two five game is i buy in for 100 blinds uh and everyone else buys in for like 250 so i know i'm gonna get in some high variance spots but they should be profitable spots especially with some of these players not really seeing the sprs and stuff so i'm hoping to uh find those triple up spots and then cash, cash out really they say uh I, I like barry greenstein he always says your win rate is best when you're when you're uh the shortest at the table so I'm going to try and take advantage of that definitely when I'm making a big leap here going from buying in for 300 going into most people don't buy in deep at 1-3 so it's going to, definitely a different game but I am uh, I'm confident I definitely think I can win in this game and I'm just going to keep playing it's going to be some high variance but that's what I signed up for so high risk high reward thanks Burke all right well I did it I grinded it back slowly and with one big pot we did it. I made it to 400 on the session thanks to a King Jack hand where an aggressive uh, Asian woman opens to 20 and I cold call King Jack on the button and the big blind calls. Check around on the flop of Jack 7-4 and then the turn brings a deuce and it checks to the aggro player who bets 60. I raise to 135 fold and a call. And the river, uh, she check calls 275. So that's the pot. That's the pot that put us over. So going to head home. And uh, four-hour session. Just the way I'm going to be doing these two fives for the first bit while I get my feet wet.